Furnishing and decorating a studio apartment is so much easier than you might think, especially because there are certain things you just don't need in a studio. Really, a house or a large apartment asks so much more of you than a studio does. There's more space to fill, more things to consider, more shit to buy. A studio, on the other hand, is like, hey girl, I'm chill, let's keep things casual. And if you're about to move into a studio or you've been living in one for a bit and you're just not sure what to do with it, you might be feeling not so great about the space constraints that come with studio life. You might be wondering, what am I gonna have to let go of in order to make this work? So in this video, I'm gonna tell you five things you simply don't need in a studio so that you can live happily and comfortably in your studio without feeling like you're sacrificing the essentials. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Steffi and I'm the creator of the interior style blog, Moda Misfit, as well as the online course, Small Apartment Styling School. And you're watching Living Pretty, the place for apartment styling tips. And if you do live in a studio or you're about to move into one, be sure to download my free Studio Styling 101 workbook, which walks you through the three key steps you need to take to get started on decorating your studio. I'll link to that in the description below. So the first thing you don't need in a studio is a dining table. I've been happily eating at my desk or on my couch for years. I barely even remember what a dining table even is. Some people might think that's kind of sad, but I seriously beg to differ. Eating at your desk or on your couch is wonderful because I don't know about you, but I love watching TV. I'm a TV junkie and I love watching whatever show I'm binging while I'm eating. It marries my two favorite things in life, food and television. What more could a girl want? If you do want more for yourself, however, I have a hack for you, which I explained in this video. I'll link to it below, but here's a quick clip. Flexible dining means having a small table, a bistro table like I have works well, that acts as an accent table and a dining table. My table here acts as an accent table the majority of the time, but when I want a dining table, I simply move it out in the open, grab those easy to move chairs from my entryway and create a dining space. The second thing you don't need to worry about buying for your studio is a desk. Now, I have a desk and up until COVID started a little over a year ago, I was a pretty staunch desk sitter. I sat at my desk for everything from eating and watching shows like I was just talking about to working. Then I got a laptop and my desk sitting has become pretty much a thing of the past. I now work almost exclusively from the couch because I can't resist its cozy siren call, apparently. My couch and I have basically morphed into one being at this point. One thing I will say about working from the couch is I actually feel quite productive working from there. I like being curled up with my laptop, a cup of coffee, and my cat Hilo, typing away, creating things. And you might find that you genuinely work well from the couch as well, hence not needing a desk. But if you do need more of an upright working situation, you can create that without a large desk. Any surface will do, really. If you do have a dining table, for example, you can make that your workspace. You can also use a C table pulled up to an armchair. Any surface can be your desk as long as you feel comfortable and productive. Don't feel like you have to have a full-blown desk in your studio. The third thing you don't need in your studio is a normal coffee table. Trust me, I love a good coffee table. When I first moved into this studio and I was shopping for furniture, I encountered so many beautiful coffee tables that tried to seduce me into buying them, but I resisted because I just don't have space in my living room area for a coffee table. I guess I technically might have the space, but it would have felt so crowded if I had gone and bought a normal sized coffee table. But the thing is, a coffee table situation of some kind, at least in my opinion, is a living room essential. You want something to, well, put your coffee on or any other beverage, and you also want to be able to kick your feet up after a long day in your living room. 
So my solution for this was to just get a small accent table from Target and use it as my de facto coffee table. Would I like more surface area for extra little decor accents like coffee table books or candles? I'm a maximalist, so yes, I would like that additional surface area. But studio life requires us to compromise a little bit, so an accent table it is. If you have a tight living room area in your studio like I do, then I would search for accent tables and side tables when shopping for a coffee table. There's some really cute ones out there and they save a ton of space. Another thing you don't need in your studio apartment is a TV stand for your TV. While a TV is absolutely crucial in my book, again, TV junkie here, you don't actually need a TV stand for it. Is a TV stand ideal? Yes. I love mine and I love that in this apartment, I don't have to repurpose something else to be my TV stand. But in other much smaller apartments of mine in the past, I've had to get a little bit more creative. So if your apartment is super tiny, there's no shame in using a dresser as your TV stand. This way, you're making the most of limited space by doubling your entertainment area as clothing storage. I happen to have a lot of closet space in this apartment, so my dresser can be tucked out of the way, but if I didn't have that walk-in closet, you bet your ass there would be a dresser underneath my TV over there instead of that TV stand. It's about making the most of limited space. And finally, if you've watched my YouTube videos for any length of time, you probably know what's coming up next because I've ranted about this quite a few times. You don't need dividers in your studio. You just don't. If you really want them, then great, but they're not a requirement to create a sense of separation in your space. Apartment Therapy even said my studio is sectioned off really nicely. And again, no dividers in here. You just don't need them. If you want my tips on creating separation in a studio without using dividers, I recommend you watch this video and this video, which I'll link to in the description below. So those were five things you just don't need in your studio. Comment below and tell me, is there anything you think is just totally unnecessary in a studio? How do you get creative with your studio space? Let me know. For daily glimpses into my studio apartment life, follow me on Instagram at mona.misfit. And for regular doses of small apartment styling tips, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you'll be notified when a new episode goes up every week. And be sure to download your free Studio Styling 101 workbook for extra help with styling your studio. And remember, your apartment is destined to be pretty and you are pretty powerful.